I'm David Skidmore. In this lesson, we're going to focus on single independent strokes, a stroke type that we've already talked about in a number of different lessons. But in this lesson, we're going to talk about combining the single independent stroke with double vertical strokes. We've been focusing in each lesson mostly on one stroke type at a time, but this is the first lesson where we're combining two different stroke types. And each lesson from here on out will be combining multiple stroke types. We're also going to talk about changing intervals while playing, and of course, we're also going to talk about phrasing. Recall that a single independent stroke is when you're holding two mallets in one hand, but only one mallet is playing. To produce this stroke, it's a simple turn of the wrist, and one thing that you really want to focus on is making sure that the mouth that's not playing is as stationary as possible. Take a look at warm-up exercise number 1A. Each measure begins with a double vertical stroke, immediately followed by a series of single independent strokes with one mallet. You can start off by playing just the first two notes of each measure. That would be a double vertical stroke, followed immediately by a single independent stroke. Notice how the wrist bend that produces the double vertical stroke immediately transitions to a wrist turn that produces the single independent stroke. Now try this out with each measure of the exercise, starting with the first two notes of a measure, followed by the first four notes of a measure, and then the full measure. Even if you're super comfortable playing double vertical strokes and single independent strokes, combining these two stroke types might feel new and a little bit uncomfortable at first. But remember that most of the music that you play won't consist of just one stroke type. It'll be a combination of a bunch of different types of strokes. Now let's move on to warm-up exercise 1B. In this exercise, each measure begins with a four-note chord, followed by a series of single independent strokes in each mallet one at a time. This is the exact kind of music that you're going to be playing in the etude, so it's a good warm-up for the etude that's a part of this lesson. Another technique we're going to focus on in this lesson is changing intervals while you're playing single independent strokes. Take a look at warm-up exercise 2A. 2A is a really simple exercise where you're just playing four note chords on the downbeat of each measure. Focus on shifting to the new interval immediately after playing, just like we've been focusing on throughout this entire series of lessons. In exercise 2B, we're playing the same four note chords, but each four note chord is followed by a series of single independent strokes. Check out how I make the interval changes happen while playing the single independent strokes. You want those shifts in interval to happen immediately after the four note chord just the same way that you did in the previous exercise where there were no single independent strokes. Now because these interval changes are all stepwise, they're pretty easy to make actually. Um, but if you want to challenge yourself, check out warm-up exercise number three. 
That asks you to make interval changes while playing single independent strokes, but slightly larger interval changes. As you can see, interval changes are made the exact same way whether you're playing or you're resting. Just comfortably roll that inside mallet between your thumb and your first finger. Last but not least, let's talk phrasing. You can think about the etude that's a part of this lesson as a series of four note chords with one note of each chord sustained by repetitive eighth notes. These repetitive eighth notes can give you the illusion of sustain if you use subtle dynamic changes, crescendos and diminuendos, to give them shape and direction. Take a look at the phrasing exercise in your book and try each of these different variations. Remember to stay nice and relaxed when you're playing these repetitive single independent strokes. It can be easy to tense up, but actually if you'll stay relaxed, the speed will come. So if it's not comfortable right now, just slow it down and gradually work up that tempo. Thanks for watching. See you next time.